Um, good afternoon, and this is Christy, and I, uh, I thank you so much for um, watching this video. And please, I ask for you to like, comment, subscribe, and share to my YouTube channel. Um, every bit of love that you give to me is love that will become yours as well. Um, and in this video, I want to express to you about something that is very important. When we receive miracles, blessings, upgrades, um, like for myself, I am going to always speak about myself because it is only my journey that I am aware of. So after the 11-11, I ended up receiving tons and tons of upgrades. Um, and um, I could actually feel these upgrades taking place within me in forms of high energy. And now I'm experiencing an extreme low yet high energy. It's so hard to describe. It's like having so much energy that you don't know what to do with it. It's coming out in be, not being able to express myself properly and um, being very clumsy. So I have that going on for me for the past few days. Um, but also with these miracles, blessings, or upgrades that are being handed to us within our lives, there's a test that has to follow it. And, you know, God has demonstrated to me or has spoken to me about my divine purpose. And it is a great purpose. And he is building me to do that. And, you know, my timing for when I know that I am ready for it is completely different from what he knows. And um, he expects you to complete certain tasks, to be able to defeat all the fears that you have ever had within your own heart. And you have to complete those. And so right after I had all of those upgrades and things like that, I have had two tasks that I have had to pass. One was, um, and these are just simple things, but yet a fear is a fear is a fear and it is paralyzing. A fear can be paralyzing and debilitating. Um, so I don't voice a lot of the things that I want to speak about because of, I know that this world or some of my group of people are not quite ready to receive. And there's still a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear of, will I be accepted? And that's something that God is trying to take away from me. The wanting to belong within this world instead of wanting to serve my purpose for him. And um, I made a post a few days ago and I put a sentence in there that really had no meaning, but I knew it was going to um, have a reaction, um, give a reaction to other people. And that tells me in itself what they are capable of understanding. Um, and um, I passed it because you know how you pass something? When you don't respond, when you don't respond with anger, with fear, with anxiety, with hate, or with judgment, when you can have a conversation or speak to somebody about what um, they are throwing back at you without responding with an anger and an anxiety, giving them a reaction back, you have mastered something in your life. You have completed another step. So that was one thing that I completed. I did not have a reaction that was negative. I had a positive result and I didn't have that feeling and emotion within my heart. Because every time that we have that negative emotion, when we retain it, it stays and it attracts more of that negativity that we don't want in our life. Um, so it is okay to have a reaction, but you have to eliminate it immediately. The longer that reaction stays in your heart, the, lo the more chances of, of Every single thing that you are attracting will come to you. The things that you don't want will come to you. Um, 
So then again, yesterday I had another incident and this is something I, I won't share too much about because it is on a personal, personal level and maybe one day I might, but um, it's been something that has a stronghold. It has been a very stronghold over my life, this, this individual and um, a stronghold is something that controls you. It could be either the fear, it could be alcohol, it could be something that takes your attention away from God and your purpose. Um, so you need to decipher in your life what strongholds are controlling you. And again, I did have a bit of a reaction to it, but I immediately, within minutes, I allowed it to be gone. And this is the moment of, again, how bad do you want what you want? Are you willing to go through and eliminate all of the things that you thought you were or the negative things in your life, the negative emotions, are you willing to eliminate all of that to serve your purpose? Um, and until you learn to master your emotions, you can't be trusted to be that person who serves your purpose. And I hope I am making sense. You have to be able to control your emotions. And when you control that, you've mastered a huge part of life. So after your miracles and blessings, there will always be a test. You have to be vigilant of that test and you have to pass it. Um, and after you pass it, you will be rewarded. Something else will be given to you. And it's um, I guess it's the same concept of when God says to give of yourself, um, like your, your donation. It has to be true to your heart. So here you are donating your time. Your purpose is a donation of time, of your love. It is the selfless act of who you are given to the world and it has to be given with pure of heart and pure intent but if we have so much baggage that we are trying to take with us on this journey we are not truly giving of ourselves but yet when we are doing it and we are eliminating every single thing that doesn't serve us we will be given more miracles and blessings and again i am so sorry that i I am probably not making a lot of sense, and I pray that I am, because my thoughts are there. My thoughts are really, they make sense to me, but I know they're not coming out in my words properly today because there's so much, um, I'm receiving so much, and I am truly thankful and blessed to be receiving now, and um, I know my outcome is going to be greater. I just have to keep focused and um nurture myself and love myself and know that the greatest thing is going to come out of it. You have to also remember that throughout every single thing that you're going through, it is for the greatest good. Whatever you're going through, it's for the greatest good. Whatever you are seeking in life, it must be for the greatest good. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.